one thing we don't want in the United States is to keep accepting immigrants from crap all countries. No more bad hombres. That's why I'm going to build a wall. It's going to be huge, huge, beautiful. I'm the best at building walls. And I'm going to make the Mexicans do all the work. Mute! Can you believe that guy? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Seriously. So, you know what the solution here is? Having a moral compass. Yeah. Anyone who has a moral compass. Two words. Would see like 80 problems with what that guy just said. I can't believe he said, and make the Mexicans do all the work. And in Hollywood, we wouldn't let the Mexicans do any of the work. There would be no work. Yeah, could you just flip it to the Peaceful Profit channel? Peaceful Profit channel, that is the best channel. Okay. You're a wicked, idiotic, vile, corrupt spawn of Satan! And I was probably one of the first victims of the Southern Poverty Law Center. Allah revealed to me that Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures. The worst. They're bad hombres. The worst. I will expel all Jews and Christians from the land until there's no one left except Muslims. Don't ever take Jews and Christians as friends. You need to fight them until they pay you and make you rich. Make the Arabian Peninsula uh, bro, great again. Can you mute that for a second? You know what I like about this guy so much, man? He is so indigenous. Indigenous, absolutely. So indigenous. I mean, what a freedom fighter. Freedom fighter. Power to the people. He's all about that. He is a social justice warrior. Before there was even social justice warriors, emphasis seventh, on warrior. Seventh century Antifa right there. Yeah, man. A lot of people just say that he's like, you know, bad and all this stuff, but they don't understand context. If you uh -huh. understand the context, you see that he's totally He's totally peaceful. peaceful. Uh, and people who don't understand that are freaking racist you know, who should be punched in their freaking mouths. A lot of people say Muhammad and they say P-B-U-H after they say his name. When I say his name, I say Muhammad S-J-W. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Um, and, and, and one thing we need to understand, why is he saying any of this about Jews and Christians? Seriously. Western imperialism. You take Absolutely. away Western Hashtag. imperialism, there's nothing but love. Hashtag the worst Western imperialism. Hashtag, hashtag. All right, let's go. Uh, let's, now, now let's compare that with the sick stuff that Trump says. Oh, yeah. All together, the SPLC spent $20 million on salaries alone. In that same year, they transferred that $4.4 million offshore to the Cayman Islands. I've had a lot of relations with a lot of beautiful women over the years. Tens, models, movie stars. I scored with all these beautiful women using my simple two-step method. Step one, get rich. I mean, really, really rich, stupid rich. Step two, oh my grab the freaking women goodness. I can't believe this guy. I mean, this guy has no respect for Misogyny. women. Misogyny. Takes advantage of women. I can't Misogyny. believe this. Misogyny. Totally objectifies women. I would never work in an industry that took advantage and objectified women. I would never be even associated with any type of industry or profession that did such a thing, man. Yeah, you, I mean, we, gotta we, stay away we from fight against stuff. that, right? We fight against this stuff. You know why? Properly functioning moral compasses. Yeah. When you have the properly functioning moral compass, you see this and you see what's wrong with it. When you don't see what's wrong with it, something's out of whack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You said he got stupid rich. At least he got one part in that sentence, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. No, <laughs> con no concern for the 99%. Oh, All right. Back to Muhammad. Grab the women by their. The unique mixture of stimulants and hallucinogens gives me the anger and delusions I need. Family Research Council, a mainstream conservative think tank that advocates for mainstream conservative views, such as traditional marriage and restrictions on abortion, was put in the same category as the Klan by the SPLC. Some people only go for tens. Me, I prefer nines. Nine-year-old girls. Nine-year-old girls are the best. The best, okay? My wife, Aisha, was nine and still playing with dolls with her small hands when I took her to Muhammad Tower. It's the best tower. Sometimes they get out of line when they're that young. But Allah told me when they get out of line, I should just beat them. I had the best revelations. Terrific.
See, I got to, I, I got to stop this right here, because think about this. Some people actually condemn that. Yusuf Estes, the Muslim preacher, he was right. This is the 7th century story of Romeo and Juliet. Sure. Muhammad and Aisha. 7th century love story. I don't see these guys condemning Shakespeare, yes. but they'll condemn this. Seriously, I mean, seriously, people... Who are we to judge another culture? Different culture. Context. Context, people. D cultural context here, right? I mean... You, I'm you, not judging. Yeah, like, like what? We, we just want one culture in the entire world with one set of rules? No, they would man. never condemn Shakespeare because he's like part of their Western canon or something. Yeah. But you know what, man? You know what, man? I'll tell you something. I can't make a judgment on this. This is right. You know why? This man is for the children. He's for the children. That's why I like Jeez. these. I bet he bought her those dolls, man. And then he took her to Muhammad Tower. Yeah. That's like Daddy Warbucks and Orphan Annie. Uh, if you hate Muhammad, it's like you hate Daddy Warbucks. Yeah, right? I, who, and who condemns that? No one. Oh, like, you see the hypocrisy. These people can't keep a consistent moral standard. Bigots. Let's go. Terrific. The Southern Poverty Law Center now lists people like Ben Carson, Laura Ingram, and Jeannie Pirro as extremists. By taking stalker to super discernment pills, by pooping and peeing. Little Rocket Man, Kim Jong Un, just said he has a red button on his desk. Will someone from his depleted bad Wi Fi access crapple country, by the way, which we won't be accepting any immigrants from? Please inform him I too have a red button, but it is much redder, much more powerful, and bigger. It's huge. Believe me, it works every time. Everyone knows about it. Everybody's talking about it. Yo, man, hit your red button, man. I read a new button, brother. Thanks. This guy doesn't know history, man. He's talking about it on North Korea. I emphasize North. Remember in the Civil War, North versus South? Who was on the right side? The North. North. They were the ones who wanted to emancipate and abolish the slavery, right? So Trump, by being against the North, it's like he's against abolition and slavery all over again, Yeah, man. he's automatically against the... That's, 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 that's ignorance and that's racism. And I can't even, I can't even emphasize enough. How, how mad I am right now, right? Like, like I don't know how to have words. He's talking about a red button. I wish I had a red button that would send me back in time to when I could build a submarine and torpedo every ship that's coming from Europe to the New World so we don't have these problems here. And what would we have if we didn't have people coming to the New World? What would we have right now? World peace. World yeah, peace. Man. World peace. Time-traveling, torpedo-bearing submarines. That's how you give peace a chance. That's man. how you give peace a chance. Yeah. Speaking of peace... Let's listen to the prophet of peace. It works. Hi, my name is Seth Dunn. Really, in my opinion, uh, that YouTube should fire uh, Southern Poverty immediately from all YouTube monitoring because uh, it's an outrage. I mean, to have the possibility of an anti-conservative hitting delete for partisan reasons. Allah gave me a vision. I have the best visions showing me that Muslims will rule the entire world. He also showed me the best method for conquering the world is terrorism. I have the best methods. Oh, I got to mute this again for a second because this, you know what I'm thinking, this is where one of these racist, Islamophobic, hate-mongering bigots jumps in and starts condemning what he said. Oh, he said fight. Oh, he said this, he said that. What's he fighting for? What's he fighting for? Peace. What does, he, what does he want to bring to the world? Peace, and people condemn that. What does that mean? And they want the opposite. What do they want? They want endless bloodshed. Yeah, you got to take that word fight in context. I was at a high school basketball game the other day. They were talking about fight, fight. No one accused him of terrorism. Yeah, no one, right? right? You know what, man? These people against him, man, Bigots. they're racist because everybody knows Islam is a race. Man. A abs absolutely. They're against you got to be racist. Bigotry, racist. I mean, my goodness. I think I'm just going to move to Saudi Arabia, man. Oh, do, 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 do. Our commercial's coming up. <sighs> no one is born hating another person. Hating another person because of the color of their skin. Or their background. Or their religion. People have to be trained to hate. Trained to hate. Trained to hate. Here, at the Southern Poverty Law Center, we're filling a new generation with utter hatred by labeling everyone we disagree with. Everyone we disagree with. Racists and bigots and putting them on a list. On a list. On one of these things. With neo-Nazis and the KKK. If you want to help a strain kids to hate anyone who's not a radical leftist screwball, support the Southern Poverty Law Center.